Hey guys, Jibber Game and Jaws here, and today we're going to be looking at a complete inbox, or as complete as I know that it is, inbox version of Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Um, I bought this game recently, have yet to play it. I'm really looking forward to it. I've only heard so many good things about it. I bought this at a local store, and it's in really nice condition. Here you can see the side. Another edge. I really like these plastic cases, man. Like, when you buy a game with a plastic case on this, it's like, it's not quite um, having shrink wrap, but it does make you feel like you're buying something new, which is really cool. Look here at the game box. There you can see the front. Again, the edges. Obviously, everything is going to have a little bit of wear, but this one is was just so nice that I was like, whoa. I was really, really impressed. It's a little ding right there. All right, now we're gonna go into the innards. Do, 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 do. Let's see what we got here. First thing that we have, consumer information and precautions booklet. Not really worth looking at. We have an insert. Ooh, Capcom registration card. Uh, that's so funny. I remember getting these things in most of my games, and I remember filling out a few of them, and uh, it was so funny. They would always ask you about like which systems you had and what kind of games you thought you were going to be wanting to buy. I'm not going to read everything. If you want to read something, you can obviously pause it. But I just wanted to show some of this. Advertisement for Nintendo Power. Nintendo Power must have been so cool at the time. Very nice instruction booklet here. Pretty good condition. Won't belabor everything. Ooh. A special special message from Capcom. Thank you for selecting the exciting and action-packed Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Obviously, you guys can read that. Table of contents. Yeah, boring. <laughs> boring. Oh, here we got some story. Oh, this is what I love about these. It's so fun nowadays to buy a complete in-box retro game that you've never played and read through the booklet. That's what I try to do now before I play... Try to make sure that I look through and get the full appreciation. Get some helps for the game. I'm definitely going to have to look at this in depth before I play it. Hopefully I can start off with a little leg up. Because from what I hear, this is the Dark Souls or Bloodborne of yesteryear. Not a lot of color in this manual. Oh, that's cool. It looks like it tells you about each uh, level. That's pretty awesome. Questing tips. This is great. This is super in-depth. Advertisements for some of their other games. Here's my receipt. I try to do this so that I can keep track of how much I paid and where I bought it. Here's the cartridge. I loved this so much. Like, it came literally in the shrink wrap. That's in good condition. I don't think I'll probably find many other games that are in this kind of condition. So cool. I'm very excited to own this. This has definitely whetted my appetite for buying more completing box retro games, whether they be for Super Nintendo or Genesis or Nintendo or 64 or anything. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, leave a comment, like, subscribe. Find me on YouTube or on Facebook. Jabber Game and Jaws out.